Mrs. Rhetoric and Mr. Ritter, please come to the main office. Mrs. Rhetoric and Mr. Ritter to the main office. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Jack, and you're watching the world premiere of WHS Late Night. Stick around for action-packed entertainment. Start, let's go to our on-the-scene reporter, Chris Gismundi. Here he is, Chris Gismundi. Hi, this is Chris Gismundi reporting for WHS Late Night. There seems to be a riot going on beneath the school, trying to get to me, the star reporter of WHS Late Night. Where are they? Where'd they all go? Where are they? Oh, no, he's coming after me. Save me. Camera guy, go get him. Okay, first what we'll do uh, on WHS Late Night is we'll do a segment called In the News. Um, these will be the top five things that are in the news at WHS. Number one, we have an exclusive interview that Chris Gismundi has conducted with uh, a person that we, we feel is overlooked in the school. Uh, she's in the library. This is Chris Gismundi's interview with the uh, naked upside down paint can lady. Here it is. Hi, this is Chris Gismundi for WHS Late Night. In late breaking news, there has been a naked paint can woman discovered in the library. Are you aware that in section C of the uh, rule book of WHS, it says specifically, no midriffs will be shown? Clear discut of the rules. What do you have to say in your defense? Very rude, not even responding. So now, why exactly are you in our school naked? Still not responding. Let's try another question. Why do you have a paint can on the top of your head? This, this woman is just so rude. And now, why are you covered in paint? Answer me already, answer me. Are you aware of your height? None of these questions seem to be ever answered. This is Chris Shizmundi for WHS Late Night. Okay, thanks Chris. Um, now the number two thing in the news. This is a machine that was recently put into cafeteria A that we found um, here at WHS Late Night was uh, this uh, unbelievable phenomenon known as the new ice cream machine. Here it is, ice cream machine in the cafeteria. All right, the number three thing in the news. This needs no introduction. These are lunch ladies dancing. Yeah, good dance. Yeah, work it. Yeah. All right, we're moving right along. We're on to the number four thing in the news. Um, you see these in cafeteria B when you're putting this on your uh, French fries or hamburger or something. Uh, these are what's known as the ketchup and mustard udders. Uh, they're, they're right in the front um, by the the, uh, the lanes where you go and eat. Let's take a look at them. A more in-depth look at the ketchup and mustard udders. Number four in the news. <laughs> No, 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 no. All right, that's good. <laughs> All right, and number five thing in the news, once again, it's lunch ladies dancing. Lunch ladies dancing, number five. Yeah, good dance. Yeah, work it. Yeah. All right, that's our uh, five things in the news at WHS. Uh, and we're going to move right along. We have a new uh, interview. Chris Just Monday has an interview now with um, a freshman here at WHS, a uh, real popular freshman. We're, we all love him here at WHS late, uh, late Night. Let's take a look at Chris Gismundi and Tom Green. Here it is. I'm here with WHS student Tom Green. Tom, how are you today? Good. Tom, so what do you think about WHS? It's cool. Do you feel comfortable walking around the hallways? Yeah. Always? What is your 
favorite class? Science. Why? Interesting. Interesting, huh? Hmm. Do you drink a lot of milk? No, you don't like milk? I like vegetables. So you don't eat very healthy, do you? Oh. So, um, good luck at WHS, and have a nice day. Christian Money signing off. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, we just have to um, go back to something uh, we did earlier. Um, lunch ladies dancing. Yeah, good dance, yeah, work it, yeah. Okay, now earlier in the week, um, I got a chance to sit down in the studio with uh, Dr. Pettix. Let's take a look how that went. Uh, yes, hi, I'm Steven Krakauer again, and uh, we got a special segment for you. This is gonna be an interview with the most prominent figure of WHS. We have Dr. Pettix with us. Everyone, Dr. Pettix. Okay, Dr. Pettix, thanks for uh, joining us on WHS Late Night. It's my pleasure to be here. Hey, uh, it's great to have you. Uh, what we have is we have nine questions prepared that are going to be like... Hello, Westfield. We've hijacked your television channel. You see, I'm t I'm tired of watching the bulletin board on TV 36 every 24 hours. What do you think about that? Mm -hmm. See, Westfield needs some quality programming. That's why we brought these tapes to you today, that you are going to watch and you are going to like.
find out what people think about TV 36. But what do people really think about Channel 36? TV 36 is the best station ever created. Channel 36 turns me on. <laughs> oh my, TV 36 changed my life. I love TV 36. I like Channel 36 because it's a real cool show, and I really love watching it. Channel 36 is the bomb diggity. It's the best thing on television. Channel 36 is awesome. I love TV 36. So what exactly have we learned about TV 36? TV 36 rocks. Really? Okay, who can tell me the name of the civil rights leader who led that movement in the 60s fighting for African-American rights in the United States? <laughs> come on, come on. You need a hint? How about MLK? MLK Jr. 
Martin L.K. Jr. Yes. All right, all right. Uh, should I go to the bathroom? Uh, yeah, get out of here. Yeah, um, well, I was just calling because I stayed home from school today sick, and no one's home, so I was looking for some company. Okay, I'll be right over. to be
Can I help you? Uh, um, uh, well, I came for the uh, math, math homework, but um, no, I'll just get it from someone else. to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. I'm glad to meet you here in short notice. Yeah, yeah it's no problem. We need someplace safe to talk. Yeah. We need to get down to business. I was very displeased in your people handling my merchandise last time. Thanks to them, it's now in police custody. Yeah, I told you I was... Yeah. No, it doesn't matter now. Do you have the new stuff? Yes, yeah. yeah, right here. What are you waiting for? Let me have it. No. <laughs> okay. because it's my old stuff, but it'll do. Now we gotta discuss my payment. Payment? Oh, you'll get your payment. You'll get it as soon as this mission is complete. You can have the same code names used on the phone? Yes. It had been a long, hard day on the case. I had contacted everyone I knew, but still, nothing had come up. This New Jersey Devil character was certainly elusive. Maybe I should call Alien. He'd probably know something. That's fine. We'll just, we'll just start it over. Hello? Alien. It's Frank. Frank Drevin. The commissioner said that we have to keep some tabs on this New Jersey Devil fellow. It should be a pretty easy case, as long as people have seen his crimes. Yeah, as long as we use our resources like the internet, telephones, and human conversation, we should have us wrapped up in no time. So, what have you discovered? How many times have I told you I don't hablo espanola? Maricón. I know I've seen this Jersey Devil fellow before. Hold on, let me check my files.
It was a warm summer day. I spotted her, she spotted me. I knew at that moment we were made for each other. Frank, esa fue la vez que te enamoraste de Stacy. Frank, esa fue la vez que conociste al, al demonio Jersey en un peaje y no viste sus platas. Sí, Sasha, estoy en el mood para tomar out. Come pick me up. Bueno, ok, chao. Better call Stacy. She might be worried. Hello? Hi, Frank. Hello? I'm going crazy getting ready for a date tonight. It's been four years since our marriage, and I want it to be special. Uh, where do you want to go again? Frank, you promised me we'd go to Chateau Le Blanca. You didn't forget, did you? Oh, uh, uh, no. I just wanted to make sure you didn't change your mind, that's all. Good, because I've practically been killing myself getting ready for this dinner. I spent two and a half hours doing my nails, taking a shower, getting an outfit ready, doing my hair, my makeup. What time are you going to pick me up? Oh, uh, of course I'll be there. I just have a few things to take care of first. Okay, bye. Elian, hey, I'm in trouble. I totally forgot about me and Stacey's anniversary. I think she knows about it. What should I do? Bueno, no sé, cómprale, cómprale unas flores o cómprale una joya para, para que puedas volver con ella. What? Divorce her? No, I love her. I don't even know why I ask you these things. Come on, let's just go. So you're who my contact sent to help with this mission? Yeah, but what does it entail? Let me show you. All right. There's a secret buried treasure inside WHS. Our plan is to go in and retrieve it. Now our plan is going to take effect. We're going to be rich. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Sorry. How are you, sweetie? I'm great. How are you? I'm excellent. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, sweetheart. I love you. I love you, too. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I have a page. Hold on. I'll be right back. You always do this. Every time we go out. I hate you. What's the matter? Frank, encontré el demonio ayer. Vamos. Sígueme. How many times do I have to tell you I don't speak Spanish? Lee los subtítulos. Okay, say it again so I can read it. Okay, encontré dónde está el demonio ayer. Sí, vamos. I called 76 first. Hey, Mo, it's the Jersey Devil. I'm about to go inside WHS right now. What? You said the treasure's in the form of a backpack? All right, I'll contact you once I get inside.
Haha, <laughs> I foiled your plan and I have your treasure. You guys want to see something? I had this whole school rigged. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen today. Good. See, that's all we wanted. We just wanted to show you guys some quality programming. That's about it. We're out. I'll see you later. I guess that's back to late night. Okay, now earlier in the week, um, I got a chance to sit down in the studio with uh, Dr. Pettix. Let's take a look how that went. Uh, yes, hi, I'm Stephen Krakauer again, and uh, we got a special segment for you. This is going to be an interview with the most prominent figure of WHS. We have Dr. Pettix with us. Everyone, Dr. Pettix. Okay, Dr. Pettix, thanks for uh, joining us on WHS Late Night tonight. It's my pleasure to be here. Hey, uh, it's great to have you. Uh, what we have is we have nine questions prepared that are going to be like the nine questions of WHS, nine periods, nine questions. Um, so if you're ready to begin, let's start the question. All right, question one. How long have you been principal here at WHS? For 20 years, since 1980. Uh, 1980, that's absolutely correct. Very good. Right answer. Number two, yes. how many different rules exactly are there in the WHS rule book? Well, there are 4,892, and, well, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, we're in the process of trying to get some more rules to, to bring it up to 5,000 by the end of the year. Oh, really? Yes. I, I don't actually know if you're joking or not, but uh, we'll take that answer. That's correct. Exactly correct. I'm actually just counting them. Either. Yeah, oh, really? 4,000. Number three. Do you prefer the newer rappers such as Eminem and Snoop Dogg over the older school rappers like Run DMC and the Sugar Hill Gang? Oh, I'm for Run DMC. Are you? I'm for Run DMC. That's absolutely correct. Three for three. Yep, that's the correct answer. Yes, very good. Number four. Yes. Can you explain to the viewers at home your style of dress? Uh, I can't explain it to myself, so it's hard to explain to the viewers at home. Well, I, you know, go into the closet in the morning and I go to the shirt rack and I pick out a shirt. And I close my eyes and I go to the pants rack. And, right. and sometimes I'll wear a jacket and sometimes I won't. So it, it depends. It definitely doesn't show. It doesn't show. I know. Not at all. It's very good. I'm preppy today. You look very nice. And I'm wearing the uh, blue devil. Blue devil tie. Yeah. Yeah. It's wonderful. Can't, That's quite, a, can't quite understand why this is a blue devil. It's really a white devil. But close enough. We'll give it to you. Correct the answer. Four for four. Dr. Four Pettis. Four. Number five. Thank you. That's, That's the good. definition of a smattering of applause right there. <laughs> Thank you. It's a big studio audience. All right, number five, yes. man to man, buddy to buddy. All right. Didn't you think the butter thing on the ceiling was kind of funny in the cafeteria? Well, it would have been funnier if it was margarine. Uh, I mean, <laughs> butter is not that great. It yeah. fills up the cholesterol in the arteries. No, I think sure. margarine is really good by at least nine out of ten doctors. Yeah, and I heard that margarine actually sticks to the ceiling better. Uh, I said, I'll go home tonight and I'll try it. Yeah. But, and I'll let you know. <laughs> All right, we'll take that answer. That's oh, correct. Five, five, five for five. Wow, I am Dr. really nice. Doing him out of the ballpark. Really, really. You're our, uh, you're our first guest here on WSO. Oh, I am. Okay. So you're doing, you're right now the, uh, you've got the most questions correct ever. So far. So, so far. Uh, so good. Yes. All right, number six. Can you describe for uh, the viewers at home the craziest experience you've ever had in high school? I could, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Fine. Next question. We're actually going to, that's incorrect. That's incorrect. Yeah, you have to give us a... Well, I'd rather get one wrong and tell you about my fine. experience. All right, fine. Five to six. All right. And we'll never know. The world may never know about that. That's true. Well, some people do, but I hope they forgot. Actually, I'm going to alumni day tomorrow. My 40th anniversary. Yes. Okay. And actually, Michael Eisner. Michael Eisner was the head of uh, Disney. Right, yeah. yeah. He was in my class. Really? Uh, honestly, he was, yes. Is he going to be there? Well, I've talked with him recently, and, and he offered me a job, mm -hmm. so I, I may be leaving the high school next year. 
The only thing is, you know, walking through Disneyland with that big head of the hair, I'm not sure. I think we'll, uh, you can do that here at the high school. That's like, true. That's Some people say I do, actually. So. <laughs> All right, uh, either way, that's incorrect. Five for six. Oh. Moving on to number seven. Yes. Okay, this is a tough one. Okay. Without using the words pleasant or rewarding, yes. could you use two adjectives to describe what a student's day should be like? Uh, yeah, yeah. This is our hardest question on here. So. Number seven, without using pleasant or rewarding, we've heard you say that before many times, can you name two adjectives to describe what a student's day should be like? Just two. There's two other ones besides this. I think we're going to have to come back to that. I think we stumped uh, Dr. Pettix on this one. I won't. We'll, we'll possibly come back to it. For now, we're going to have to say that's uh, incorrect. Can't name it, but you know maybe we'll think of some while we're doing the rest of the questions. All right, number eight. This should be a little easier for you. you know, it feels like I'm losing it now. Right. Five five. You're right. You're a uh, you're losing streak here. I think this one should uh, put you back in the game. Okay. Could you tell me a funny joke? Sure. Okay. I'm I'm ready for it. Well, I answered your question. Oh. No, no, no. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll actually I'll tell you a joke. I'm I'll, I'll I'll beyond your minus question. one for me. Yeah, you okay. Know. Uh, why should you never tell a secret to a cow? I don't know. Why? Because it goes in one ear and out the other. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. That's absolutely correct. In fact, that's actually I'm not going to winning streak. <laughs> that was the one I used in the. Uh, I can't think of an alternative. Pleasant or rewarding. Well, that's that really is. Yeah. That's, I didn't know if the question would be that tough. Yeah, um, I should have corrected on this or something to help you out. All right, let's correct you are six for eight right now. We're on the final question, number nine. Yes. Final. Yes. Is there a better school on the face of the earth that is student for student, teacher for teacher, better than your very own WHS? No, there is not. That's absolutely no, that correct. I know right Nowhere. Away. You'll never find uh, a better school. Thank you. Though. Absolutely correct. Seven for nine, Dr. Pettix. Not bad. Thank you it's very much. It's a good much. standard for the next guest. To try yes, it is. You know, maybe we'll uh, be back next time. Maybe we'll be uh, looking forward to you coming back and oh, joining us again. It's been great having you on Thank our you. premiere edition of WHS Thank Monday. you. Thank you. Now, everybody. before you leave, yes. can you do one more thing for me? Maybe. Can you end this interview yes. like you end them in morning announcements every day for our students? All right. Would you please stand and... Uh, no? Uh, just the way you end. Just the last little couple words. And have a pleasant and rewarding day. And now uh, to Christian's Monday with the exclusive interview. Hi, this is reporter for TV. WHS Late Night, Christian's Monday. I'm still hiding from the riders. They seem to be diminishing now. I think I'm safe. Back to Steven at the studio. <laughs> Okay, that's our show for tonight. For Christian's Monday, I'm Stephen Krakauer signing off for the premiere edition of WHO. And on the credits, you'll see some sports bloopers, some other bloopers, and some funny stuff, including possibly.